welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review what is going on youtube this is lawrence over at mighty commons collectibles and welcome back to another video you guys know what day it is that's right we're back for the hot 10 breakdown of the week the 10 hottest comics according to the key collector app and before we get into this list this week guys i want to remind you if you are not a current subscriber of the channel and have been enjoying some of my videos do me a favor I want you to click the subscribe button for me. I want you to smash that like button because it helps the algorithm out. And of course, I want you to turn on the notification bell because it lets you guys know out there when I post new videos. With that said, guys, we're here for the Hot 10 Breakdown. So we're going to jump in. At number 10 is a copy of X-Men number 50, the second appearance of Lorna Dune, of course, the daughter of Magneto. This is also the first time we have the new X-Men logo designed by the great Jim Steranko and his CGC. 4.5 just sold last week for 425 bucks up three percent since september while this is a really beautiful green cover a beautiful starenko cover to me i'm just not feeling this book overall in the long term i don't want to spend close to 400 dollars for the second appearance of lorna dune really not that into it to me this is a thumbs down there are better books out there to buy out there in the x-men run than this one right here although like i said this is a nice looking cover at number 9 this week is a copy of Ultimate Fallout 4, the 1 in 25 Dejevic variant. And with that said, a CGC 9.8 just sold last week. Take a seat guys for $40,800, up 32% since October. This of course also is the first appearance of Miles Morales, lest we forget. Regardless, this is a ton of money to spend on this book. I know this book is super rare. 1 out of 25 got printed for every regular A cover. I don't know, guys. I can't throw around $40,000 on it just because of a variant cover. To me, I think that's insane. I know there's a lot of people out there who really want to own this book, who will go crazy for this book. I actually had somebody tell me they'd rather own this book over a low-grade AF-15. To me, I thought they were nuts. Again, if you want to own the first appearance of Miles Morales, I'm all for owning that book, but I just can't see spending the amount of money it would take to own a 9.8 copy of this book. I just can't do it. At number 8 this week is a copy of Fantastic Four, number 48, the first appearance of the Silver Surfer. And now this book, not only being a huge undervalued key, there's a rumor out there that the Silver Surfer is going to appear in the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Supposedly, James Gunn said that they're going to unleash a major Marvel character in this series. I don't know, that's the rumor. A CGC 6.5 just sold last week for 4650 bucks, up 9% over the 12-month rolling average. You guys know I've been talking about this book. Ever since we got that drop maybe about a year ago, this book has really come in. I'm all over this one. I want to own this one for when the Silver Surfer shows up. Hopefully in that holiday special or in an MCU movie. You got to own this book here right now. It has taken such a beating. I'm all over it if you guys want to buy it. At number seven this week is a monster key. Amazing Spider-Man number one. The second appearance of Spider-Man. Of course, is the first appearance of the Chameleon and J. Jonah Jameson. And a CGC 2.5. Just sold last week for $13,484. The second highest grade for a 2.5 all time. You guys know this book appeared on my top 10 most expensive Silver Age comics of all time. It was number five on that list. A monster book. You see how popular Spider-Man is for that book to be this price when there's no major first appearance, like no major hero. Yes, we have a couple of minor first appearances, but outside of this, that, guys, this book is a monster. You guys know I want to own it. One of my most favorite books of all time. I have a .5 copy, and of course, in my collection, it's missing the back cover. But regardless, guys, yes, I want to buy this book. I want to go out and buy a copy right now. At number 6 this week is a copy of Tales to Astonish number 27 and the first appearance of Hank Pym who later goes on to become the first Ant-Man. That said, a CGC 4.0 just sold last week for $4,715 up 12% 
since March. This book was on the list maybe a couple of months back and I wasn't too sure why all of a sudden it's jumping on this list. It's back on it and again and to me spending almost 5,000 bucks on this book may be worth it to some people out there. It's a huge character. However, for me, to throw around that kind of money, I'm going to invest it in a character that I love. If you guys are crazy Ant-Man fans and you love Hank Pym, do me a favor. Go ahead, pick up this book for me. I'd rather take that five grand and put it towards a book that I love, like the first appearance of a Doc Ock, a low-grade copy of Fantastic Four number five. Stuff like that is what I'd rather be buying outside of this book. But hey, this is a beautiful Silver Age key. I can't stop you. At number five this week is a book that was on the list the last couple of weeks at number one, down to the five spot this week, Ghost Rider number one, and the first solo title for the Ghost Rider, and a CGC 8.0, just sold last week for $1,608, take a seat guys, up 51% since the prior week. That's right, just one week, this book went up 50%. People out there right now are specking on the Ghost Rider. You know I am, but I'd rather own that Marvel Spotlight 5. I talk about it time and time again. So much, in fact, that I have people out there making fun of me for it, but that's okay. It's all in good fun. Yes, I'm a buyer of this book. Probably not going to the 8.0 grade on this one. It's a little bit high grade for me, but hey, if you can get it anywhere from a 4.0 or higher, I'm definitely a buyer of this one. I still think it's got a bump left in it. At number four this week is a copy of Avengers number nine and the first appearance of Wonder Man. And I think we all know why this book is on this list this week. There's an official series announcement by Disney themselves. That's right. He's going to get his own series on Disney Plus and a CGC 4.5. Just sold last week for 456 bucks, up 7% since September. I have owned this book in the past. I've owned a nice raw copy, probably around a 3.5 to a 4.0 range. I picked it up for significantly less than what it's going for right now. I'm not buying the hype. I know that he's getting in his own series and you may want to jump into this character. To me, I'm waiting for after the series and if it, the series is great and people want to get into the character then and they do a good job with that series, that's when I'll go ahead and pick up this book. It's too minor of a character for me to go ahead and invest that kind of money in right now. But hey, if you want to ride the train and jump on and take a chance ahead of time, be my guest. I'm just not doing it, guys. At number three is another blue chip Marvel key. It is a copy of Journey into Mystery number 83, the first appearance of Thor, and a CGC 3.0. Recently sold last week for $13,225, up 2% since October. You guys cannot go wrong buying these blue chip Marvel keys, especially if you are a long-term holder like I am. To me, I think you cannot go wrong with the Tales of Spence 39, Journey into Mystery 83, AF15, Incredible Hulk number 1, X-Men 1, and a few of the other main Marvel blue chip keys. With that said, guys, you guys know I'm 100% a buyer of this one. If you want to invest your time and money, I think down the line, you will be rewarded. At number two this week is a copy of Incredible Hulk number 1, the first appearance of Bruce Banner and the Incredible Hulk. With that said, a CGC 3.5 just sold last week for a whopping 24,000 bucks, up 14% since 2021. Now, this rare Marvel key has been going up like crazy over the past year and a half. You, like I said in a previous video, this book could have been had in really low grade for maybe about a third of the price that it's going for right now. Somebody finally realized that, hey, this book is super scarce. It deserves to be at a higher price tag than it is right now. And all of a sudden, over the last year and a half, this book has gone absolutely bonkers. Is it worth it? Of course it is. It's a Marvel blue chip key. Even though the MCU may be coming to an end with the Hulk and Bruce Banner, I'm not sure how much left he has left in the tank for the MCU. I think this book will continue to go up in the long term. Even in the near term, definitely go ahead and buy in this book if you can afford it. It's one of the best there is out there and a great long term investment. And at the top spot this week is another blue chip Marvel key. It is a copy of Fantastic Four number one, the first appearance of the Fantastic Four, the first Marvel family of Marvel. And a CGC 7.0. Recently sold last week for 81,000 bucks, up 8% since 2020. Same goes for this book as the Incredible Hulk number one. This book could have been had for super cheap just a couple of years back. And now all of a sudden it is taken off ever since we got the announcement that the MCU is going to be bringing in for the Fantastic Four. We got that announcement from Kevin Feige that they purchased, of course, the Fantastic Four back from Fox Studios. And this book has been 
to the moon ever since. You guys know I am definitely an investor of this book. If you want to own it for the long term, it is a ton of money. You don't need to go out and buy yourself a 7.0 copy. Although I will say this, the higher the grade on these big blue chip keys, the more your reward is going to be. Yes, I'm a buyer of this one. However, it is my least favorite of the blue chip Marvel keys. I will say that. And this is the first one there ever was, right? This is the biggest first superhero book for Marvel. So yes, I'm a buyer, but to me, I'd rather own an AF-15. I'd rather own an Incredible Hulk number one, uh, an X-Men one, but this Fantastic Four book is going higher and higher the closer we get to getting that Fantastic Four in the MCU. And that's it for the Hot 10 this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this list. There's a lot of huge keys on this week's list, just like last week's list. And that tells me one thing. With the market coming in, these big blue chip books are the books that we should be going out and buying right now. Forget all the spec stuff. Forget all the variant stuff. These monster blue chip keys are the ones that are going to be lasting the test of time. So don't try to hop in front of a moving train. Don't try to catch a falling life with some of these books. The big boys are where we should be putting our money for the investment game. Outside of that, if you want a book because you love the character, you love reading it, and that it you know pertains to something special in your life, then go out there and buy those books. But these monsters, these are the ones that we want to invest in for the long term. With that said, guys, I'm going to give you guys my best buy of the week. And with a lot of great books on here, there's one out there that I think is still um, undervalued a book that I think is coming down a little bit and then definitely a book I want why to add another collection to my copy and that is Amazing Spider-Man number one the second appearance of Spider-Man now I like I said there's a lot of great books there's Journey into Mystery there's Incredible Hulk number one why did I choose this choose this one is because Spider-Man is the most important character of all time I think it's more affordable than some of these other big books out there right now. I think it still has room to go. But like I said, some of these other big books, they may better be better buys for you. But to me, I think it's this one. This is the book that I'd be going out there and adding right now. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this list. This is Lawrence over at Money Comics Collectibles saying thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you guys soon.